Hey team, welcome back to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. Thank you for joining me today. I have almost recovered my voice. It keeps coming and going. I have my microphone on, so we should be fine. Today, I want to go through some bag patterns with you. You may or may not be aware of how obsessed I am with crochet bags, how much I love to design them, how many of them I'm working on, and they're not all granny square either. I have been seeing granny square bags and crochet bags, crochet bags everywhere, all over Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. And I am here to do my public duty to share a roundup of the ones that have caught my eye recently so you can make your own as well. <laughs> I've got eight to run through with you. Some of them are free, some of them are video tutorials and some of them are paid for patterns. Some of them you can't even get a pattern, it's inspiration because they belong to another brand. We're gonna jump right in with this one from Natty Thread. It's a granny square bag, it has a frill on the side. Honestly, this is just everything. So she's got eight squares on one side and they've got all different motifs on them. There's a cute little froggy, there's a flower, there's a smiley face, the rainbow, just love it. And she also posted a picture of the other side and it has eight motifs on there. And then it's got the frill on the side and I am really into the, the frills at the moment, just like on my current cushion. I've been adding frills to everything, so this just ticks all of the boxes. Now, it looks like it's double knit, but I mean, everything that I use is double knit. It could well be cotton because the definition on the handle is really, really good. And you could alter these motifs to suit you. Like, I don't eat watermelons, so I wouldn't put watermelon on there, but I was obsessed with oranges when I was pregnant with Teddy. So I would put an orange on there without a doubt. Really, really cute. Like, you could personalise this and it would look really, really cool. As far as I'm aware, there isn't a pattern. But, Lexi, if you watch this, please, please make the pattern because we all want to make one of these for ourselves. The next pattern I'm sharing with you is this Sunny Days Sling. It's Sunny Days Craft. And it popped up on my Explore feed. I'm pretty sure that's how I discovered this one. It looks like it's rows of... It's rows of crochet and it looks like it might just be a simple half double crochet or something like that. And you do the rows in stripes and then you create the sling shape. I know some people call these bum bags or fanny bags. I'm not here for these terms. I'm just going to call it a sling. And then it also looks as if the handle is crocheted. You can get the Sunny Days Craft pattern. It says that the link is in their bio. And I really like this design and I'd love to make a sling myself, like a HDDC pattern. I think it'd be a really good one to use up your scraps and it'd be a really good one to, like, this is the sort of bag where I can just pop my phone in and my keys and off I go with Teddy and I'm hands free. And that is something that I am seriously lacking at the moment. It's been on my to-do list for a long time. Okay, the third bag I'm showing you is by Rosina of Zines and Rogers. It's a corner to corner stash busting. And I haven't done much corner to corner, but this does give me like granny square vibes as well. And I love that it's stash busting. So she says that this is on the free crochet pattern on her blog. And it's got the blue leather handles on it. I love adding on like hardware for actual shop bought bags. It just gives the crochet bags that really nice finish. And then it looks like she has chose her main color on the corner to corner as the green. And again, I really like that contrast. And some of that green runs through the bag as well. I have got loads of scraps, so this would be one that would be really useful. I think this would make a really good project bag for like on the go as well. It looks quite roomy. And I'm guessing that you could 
make it bigger or smaller as well if that's what you wished to do really really cute now this video is not sponsored this channel is not sponsored so please allow me one minute to talk to you about my own advert hdc has its own bag subscription you sign up and every second month you receive a pdf bag pattern in your emails this is the first month this is september 2024 and it is my allure bag pattern it is a crochet granny square mini tote bag it actually holds its own shape let me just take my project out it actually holds its own shape so if I pop it down there you can see that it doesn't collapse in on itself and I went with stash busting granny squares and then I added these contrast handles I'm sure you all have a load of little bits in your stash that you want to use up and this also makes the perfect project bag I actually have a granny square project living in here at the moment so if you want a little treat every other month for yourself and you love to make crochet bags then please go to the link below and sign up on the second month we also have a video chat so if you sign up before the end of september 2024 you will receive this pattern and then you'll be able to join in on our crochet chat which is in early october all the details will be sent out to you. I don't know about you, but I struggle to make adult friends that crochet. So it'll be a way to sit and chat about whatever colours you've chosen, whatever stage of the bag that you're on. Maybe you've finished, maybe you've just started, maybe you started a second one. And just to sit and have a chat with other crocheters. It is for you if you really, really love Granny Square bags and you really want to have access to exclusive patterns. It is for you if you just love to crochet and you want a little project for you. These are so portable, so easy on the go. And it's also for you if, did I say, if you love granny squares? Because there's six patterns per year and four of them are granny square patterns. I have a shelf and it's starting to look really, really cool. As I mentioned, these bags are exclusive to the subscription. Once. The month has passed you can't purchase it until i release it as part of the collection which will be in august 2025 so a whole year away this is bag one of the sub squad and this is going to be one of the future bags that i'm working on i really like this one this is one of those like just pop it on and off you go type bags and another one i'm working on is this shopper I just have one more handle to cover. Actually writing this pattern up as we speak. It's called the HGDC subscription. You've become part of the sub squad and I can't wait to see you in there and sit and have a chat with you. The next pattern that I have to share with you is from Simply Crochet Mag. It's from issue 139 and the designer is The Missing Yarn. And it's this, I just wanna call it like a Mary Poppins bag. It's got the handles, it, it's just giving the whole like tapestry carpet bag vibes and I really, really like this. I really like that it's the granny stripe but then it has the row of granny squares. I've made a bag like this myself but I didn't put the granny squares in there. The tassels are also a really nice touch and again you could stash dive on this one or you could order specific colours and have a specific colour palette and it also says that it has room for an entire project inside what more do you need in a bag they use the karen simply soft yarn i've never had the privilege of working with that yarn i believe it's like a double knit or is it a, a heavier weight really nice bag the next bag to share with you is the peace love and kindness bag and it is a kurt Gija. Gija, Gija, Kurt Gija crochet bag. I love seeing crochet pieces in, like on a big brands like this. I know Prada has one. I know that Dolce & Gabbana have had some. And this, I love the colors on this one. I love the bright granny squares. 
This bag is currently listed on eBay for £120 plus postage. And it's giving like the Natty Thread vibes with the motifs, but then also HGDC vibes with the like iconic bag shape. I do love that it's big. I'm thinking that possibly I need a bigger bag. It looks like it's lined with fabric on the inside. And I'm pretty sure that that's cotton yarn. I'm loving the colours. I love that it's joined in black. Really, really nice. And so many people have commented on this post saying like, restock, bring it back, can't get it, can't get hold of it. Please, can you put one out? Have I missed it? When's it back in stock? Obsessed, quirky, wow. Can all of these people please make their way to HDDC and I will make bags for you? <laughs> Also, it has the metal hardware. They've put a chain on there. And in my iconic pattern, I share the details of how to crochet a handle or how to add on the store-bought chain handles. And I do like those elements. It just makes it, just elevates your look. The next bag I want to share with you is the Urban Threads Patch Knot Bag. I actually have this pattern myself. I haven't made it but i have this pattern and it's a japanese a japanese style knot bag where you put the handle over the other one to close it and um, what i like about this one is again it could be an amazing project bag it's one of those where you can just put loads of items in there and of course it's granny squares looking at some of her images from the testers it's quite a large bag don't get me wrong i love my little bags but i also like like a capsule bag as well so this is on my to make list it is a sunburst granny square and then they are actually stitched together very very simple design but really really effective and the yarn here is the hobie yarn it's called kind feather and side note, this bag also has a matching cardigan and jumper, so you could do the whole outfit vibe. The next bag to share with you is my own iconic bag. This is my best-selling pattern. It is a crossbody bag with a flap for closure. It has a magnetic clasp. And then it has these D-rings and lobster clasp. And then, as I said, you can clip on or clip off with the crochet handle or the store-bought handle. And you can make it in whatever colorway you desire. I have made it in my signature black scrap. This is like my go-to colorway. It's one of my favorites to work in, as is the pink to join. And on the black one, I went with the black gunmetal hardware. And on the pink, I went with the silver gunmetal, silver hardware. This pattern uses double knit yarn. I always use acrylic yarn. You can use whatever fibers you wish. Inside of the bag, in, for it to keep its shape and to stand up, I use a plastic mesh. And then I use that to line the inside of the bag. There's no sewing at all. Every single piece is crocheted and then it's all joined using join as you go. And then the panels are crocheted together. So the only time that you'll need a needle is to darn in the ends. Other than that, there is no sewing. It is 100% crochet. You can get this pattern on my website and and on Etsy and I will be soon adding it to Lovecrafts. I believe it is already on Ravelry. And then the final bag to share with you is this Parisian crochet bag by the Curate Crochet Box. Disclaimer, I do own this box. I purchased it myself. I was going to obtain an affiliate link to share with you, but I haven't gotten around to doing that. And I haven't also made the bag. <laughs> I saw this bag and I was like, I have to have it. And I purchased it last December as a birthday slash Christmas present to myself. And the way things are currently going, I will be making it 
this December as a birthday slash Christmas present to myself. It uses cotton yarn. It's got like a oatmeal and a black and it has some bamboo handles and then you also have like a um, strap that you make as well. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. I really like the puff details that when you join the granny squares, it creates its own motif. And then the bamboo handles, I love adding in that hardware. The kit comes with everything you need to make the bag. And I'm really excited to open mine. Again, I'm hoping that I can book a hotel room and just take some of my projects and just go and enjoy some space and time to myself. I know that this box was part of the monthly subscription. However, they do stock the boxes as one-offs and you can purchase previous boxes if you really like the pattern. And that's what I did. I saw that Lindsay, she is Lottie and Albert who owned Curate Crochet Box. I saw that she posted that they were in stock and I was like, this is my chance, I'm gonna get it. And I let me check the website, they're probably in stock. Okay, I've checked the website and on the day of recording, 14th of September, 2024, there are six left in, in stock. So they have spare boxes of some of the previous pattern. They have spares of some of the previous boxes and there's six of them remaining. And basically run, don't walk to go and get one. Inside the bag, you get an eight page printed pattern booklet. It's got step-by-step -step photos. There's a video tutorial as well. Um, and then, yeah, you've just got everything in there that you need to make the bag. And you might just want to do what I've done and get it and stash it for when you have a moment of wanting to work on something for yourself. There's also 12 reviews on there and they've all got like five stars. And somebody said, as a beginner, they didn't think they'd ever be able to make this bag and they have. And loads of people saying they love the instructions. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this one. And as I've shared, shown you this one, I'm going to just tell you the name and the details in case you wanted to make your own. This is my glimmer bag pattern. It uses the tinsel yarn, the novelty yarn. It's entirely crocheted. It has a zipper to close. And it's a party bag. What's not to love about it? I've put this little gunmetal black chain on it and I've also used black gunmetal D-rings. It's just a cute one and it's perfect for the party season coming up. Okay team, that's all of the bags I wanted to share with you this time. Let me know which bag is your favorite and also let me know if you want me to make another video like this because I'm always seeing crochet bags popping up and I'm more than happy to keep on sharing as long as, 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 long as that's something that you want to watch. Okay then team, take care.